Hello guys, how's it going? As promised, here's the tutorial. Even though I'm at the airport, I just wanted to take enough time to go ahead and just at least go through this. Um, so I'll just go ahead and this is the first part where I'm getting the user's data. And there are just two items here and you'll see why I'm taking these two items in a second. So I'm asking you, who are you gonna call, right? And you save the response as a phone field to the phone custom field. And how shall I address them? Now this is a name and you save it to the first name. I'm taking notes so that we can work on our, on our API request. Um, this is a very simple request. You can go to their documentation and they have plenty of resources. It's um, actually very straightforward to set this up. I'm actually using the free trial. Um, on your headers, you'll have an authorization. You'll put your API key. On the body, you'll want to have this uh, JSON, which is also simple. On the phone number, you have your dynamic field uh, over there for the phone, which you just took on the previous step. The task, essentially, this is uh, Blend has its own sort of AI engine that can make your bot function just with this task. Then you choose the voice ID, choose the language. This request data is pretty cool. If you have data that you don't want your bot to forget, like say you have a routing number and you're checking for the status of your delivery, or you have your bot check the status of your delivery, you can do that and give it your name, give it your email, give it any maybe the answers to your security questions in case the representatives ask them. So the bot will have this information and become your agent. Um, there's the, the, set, the setting to record. Reduce latency, this will make the bot answer faster. You wanna set that to true, unless you have a voice that's super high quality and you're more focused on the quality than on the latency. Uh, AMD, I know that we need to set it to false when the call is expected to be answered by a human. Um, that's it, that's as far as uh, the body. And then the response, we're just mapping two, items, two, um, two fields there. We're mapping call status to see if the call was successful or not, and the call ID, how we're gonna be repairing our call during the rest of the flow. Okay, and so the next one is actually there, and we want, we want you to wait. <laughs> Uh, because the water doesn't boil faster just because you're watching the pod and also because calling via external API repeatedly <laughs> to ping the logs endpoint just so you can get a real-time transcript of the call is a mouthful for yours truly right now but now once you see that the call is sent you will click there and the second API request will be triggered and now we have our uh, we have the same header on the body, we're just saying, hey, give me the logs for this call ID. And the logs will include the transcription, the call duration, error messages, etc. And that's it. So everything that was mapped on this second API request, I put it into um, OpenAI and essentially we tell them, hey, your job is to make a summary in the same language you detect being used, normally Spanish, using the transcript of the call, make a summary of what happened. All right, so we give it last input and also the custom fields that mapped our response from our first, uh, our second API call. And that's about it. That's about it. Um, it's working already. I don't want to um, end up my free minutes. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I would I would demo this for you. But if you're interested, I can, um, you know, I would I would say uh, you can copy this flow you're free to copy these flow and yeah this is essentially how it goes so that's it guys that was a tutorial